Hey guys, Lily here. In today's video, I will be trying to make confetti out of HTV for shirts. Have you tried this out before? If you have, did it work out for you? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. I figured I'd try it out so you don't have to in case it doesn't work. So stay tuned to see how it works out for me. Should you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop them down below and I will do my best to assist you. Alrighty, so here I am just cutting a whole bunch of pieces of scrap vinyl that I had laying around. I really didn't know how long and time consuming this was going to be when I first started. So here I am just cutting away. I started cutting it up maybe a day ago and after 15 minutes my fingers couldn't cut anymore. So I stopped and then I went back a few times to cut it up. So here is the long, 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 long process of me cutting up the vinyl. I never really got it as small as I would like it, but I decided to stop and try it out. So here's just me cutting it all up. You can fast forward through this part if you'd like. done cutting it up I'm going to be using this oopsie sublimation shirt that I had lying around to test out the confetti so here you're going to see me just go ahead and just spray the confetti or the HTV confetti all around so there is a specific way HTV has to lay so that way it can adhere correctly so while I was spreading it out I saw that a lot of pieces were not facing the correct way so here I'm going to try and attempt to I guess fix as many as I can I didn't realize how time consuming it was going to be to try and fix all of the confetti HTV pieces that were the wrong way so I eventually just gave up and decided to press it. I saw that there was way too many pieces facing the wrong way so I just went ahead and turned on my heat press so that way that could start heating up and while it was heating up I was just trying to fix all the little pieces that I could. So here I am it's just me fixing away in the next clip I'm just going to be fixing all the pieces that I can possibly fix. So here I realized I finally had to stop because my heat press had heated up to 330 degrees Fahrenheit 
and that's what I needed to press the CGTV at so I went ahead and just decided to go ahead and press it. So I went ahead and placed a piece of Teflon sheet on top of my shirt to protect my heat press so that way there wouldn't be any pieces of HTV stuck to my heat press. Alrighty, so here I am pressing the t-shirt at medium pressure for 15 seconds at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Alrighty, so that's all done. Moment of truth. I can already see that this is going to be a no. So I start peeling back and yep, just as I suspected, all the pieces of HTV that were the incorrect way stuck onto my Teflon sheet. So this was definitely a complete and utter mess. I tried using a squeegee to try and take off the pieces of HTV that had stuck onto my Teflon sheet, but that wasn't working out for me. So if you have a trick to remove HTV from a Teflon sheet, then please let me know in the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. So this process is going to be a definite no. I definitely think I will be heading over and purchasing some screen print confetti to see how that works out for me. Is there anything else that you'd like for me to try out so that way you don't have to? But thank you so much for watching this video. I do have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would greatly appreciate the support over there. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.